We've got a new rumor about Kathleen Kennedy's status as Lucasfilm president. This one says that she's going to be staying on the job because no one else wants it. Let's take a look at this here. This latest rumor uh, is coming after absolute disaster for Lucasfilm, specifically Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, bombing at the box office. The film has only grossed $131 million at the domestic box office and another $126.7 million internationally for a global gross of $257.7 million. Given these poor numbers and the film's estimated production budget of $300 million, which it, there's rumors out there that it could even be higher, the box office analyst OMB Reviews predicts the film is unlikely to reach $400 million globally, and thus it will likely cost Lucasfilm and the Walt Disney Company around $250 million in the red. Uh, so not only is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny an epic disaster, but even the company's flagship Disney Plus series, The Mandalorian, is now suffering. Viewers of the series pan the recently released third season. You can see here that the audience score for season three on Rotten Tomatoes is a abysmal, rotten 50%. That's a, just a tad higher uh, than The Last Jedi. Last I checked, The Last Jedi was at 46%. They also recently produced a Willow Disney Plus series. It was canceled after one season. And not only has it been canceled, but they have completely removed it from the Disney Plus streaming service and are removing it as part of a plan to for a massive tax write-off uh, along with a number of their other Disney Plus things that they created. It's about like $1.8 billion tax write-off, I think, is uh, what they were talking about in one of their uh, earnings reports uh, recently. Uh, <laughs> Walt Disney CEO Bob Iger remarked saying, we realize that we made a lot of content that is not necessarily driving uh, subscription growth and we're getting much more surgical about what it is we make. So not only are they <laughs> getting surgical about what, they, what it is they make, they're literally benching things that they have indeed made. Uh, even if you look at Kennedy's handling of Lucasfilm and the results of this year, if you look past that stuff, uh, she's only managed to decline. Uh, so when she first came in, the first thing we really got was The Force Awakens. $2 billion at the box office. People were interested to see what the Walt Disney Company had in store with Star Wars. Even after that, I think there were still some people like, hey, let's we'll give them a chance. Maybe they, they do something in the second one here in The Last Jedi. But we see that uh, that people, the interest in Star Wars significantly declined um, or you had at least less people going to see the film. So you went from $2 billion with The Force Awakens to The Last Jedi only bringing in $1.3 billion, $700 million uh, decline there in just a couple of years. And then The Rise of Skywalker just barely eked over $1 billion, uh, probably because people just wanted to maybe complete it uh, and wanted to see it end. Uh, but you have in between those films, we did have the Kennedy produced um, Solo A Star Wars Story, which indeed was the first Star Wars film to definitively lose money at the box office. And it's not just movies and TVs. You can even look at the company's publishing front. We had a new report analyzing the Circana book scan data uh, by Upstream Reviews that found that uh, the High Republic sales have been have seen a 90 to 95% drop in sales between the launch with Light of the Jedi, that was their first novel, and the current High Republic novels in barely over two years. So massive, massive declines uh, with the High Republic as well. Again, she's just been managing a decline of the franchise. So despite all of these markers uh, showing that she probably should have been fired years ago, uh, she somehow stayed on, and it looks like she might be staying on uh, into the future. This new rumor from Matt McGloin over at Cosmic Book News. He posted this on Twitter. He says, also asked about Kathleen Kennedy getting fired. Told no one wants the job, so likely not happening. Hashtag Star Wars. Uh, we this rumor comes after uh, there were some there were some he rumors about heated boardroom meetings over there in um, uh, California for the Walt Disney Company, especially after the poor, very poor opening box office for Indiana Jones and Dial of Destiny. We had those rumors from WDW Pro uh, and Mexican Iron Man and Jonas J. Campbell over there, uh, and they were basically saying, hey. Uh, the Walt Disney Company is going to basically hold off on deciding anything on what they're going to do for two weeks. Uh, they're going to wait for the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny to be in the in the box office for at least two weeks, and then they might make a decision. Or and that decision isn't going to be whether or not they're going to be firing Kathleen Kennedy or doing anything like that. The decision seems to be who they're going to be placing the blame on internally for the terrible uh, performance. Uh, and at the same time, we also had WDW Pro talking about how. 
Uh, they need to actually, or they're trying to shield Harrison Ford because he's actually going to be uh, featured in the next Captain America film, Captain America Brave New World, alongside Anthony Mackie there. So, but uh, that is the latest rumor. Um, I mean, there's always lots of rumors flying about Kathleen Kennedy. So far, none of them have really panned out to be true. A lot of them saying that she's going to be um, axed or she's going to be uh, let go or she's no longer part of projects and stuff like that. And it just seems uh, the longer you wait, the more it realizes that she is still a part of uh, leading <laughs> leading Lucasfilm. And you have people like John Favreau constantly praising her um, for her setting up him and Filoni for the Mandalorian and uh, kind of be acting as kind of like this uh, person that's putting together people to make Star Wars shows rather than maybe just kind of injecting stuff into the shows, even though that is what I think a lot of fans think. And I think they're pretty right on that. Uh, we also have uh, Kennedy making it clear that she had a um, set goal that she wanted to change the type of stories that Star Wars did indeed tell uh, when she came in and she wanted to make that a more female centric company. And I think she has done that and she, her handprints are all over that. I think you even see that in Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny too. But uh, this is what the latest rumor is. She is not going away because no one wants the job. And I think that means no one in the Walt Disney company wants the job. Uh, and I honestly don't think they really have anyone who's qualified to take over Star Wars. I think Dave Filoni has proven that he is nowhere capable of doing that, even on a creative front. John Favreau, I think, also nowhere near capable of doing that on a creative front. He might have had a lot of big hits um, in the past, but I think Mandalorian Season 3 proves uh, that maybe hit the gas on his creative engines, at least within Star Wars, have kind of run out. I think you probably, if you're going to do something, you have to bring in someone from the outside um, who's not maybe been indoctrinated with the Walt Disney uh, Company's princess and woke DEI culture. That would be that would maybe be the only way you could potentially uh, bring Star Wars back. But I just don't think that Bob Iger has the will to do any of that. 